Colin, it's that time of year again, building up to the World Championships. I want to take a moment to have a chat with you. Go what, for it. what makes this tournament so unique from any other tournament? Uh, yeah, it's the world. You know, this is the World Championships. Um, I've been privileged to be a world match player and a world Grand Prix champion. Um, still got the world in front of it. And world number one. And world number one. But this is the world. This is, you know, what you play darts for. The pinnacle is to be world champion. Like you say, I've been world number one. Um, but to be actually crowned as the world champion, you know, and it's Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Christmas ain't Christmas without the world darts. What What is your favourite world's <coughs> moment to date? Um, favourite world moment to date. I suppose it'd have to be when I got to the semi-finals. You know, I got back to the semi into the semi-finals. Going back a few years now, I think it was about 2002. Two, yeah. And uh, I lost out, unfortunately, to Peter Manley, 6-4 in the semis. Mm. Um, but I've had some great moments there, you know. Um, last year against Scott Rand, you know, he, he just banged in a 1-6-8 to leave himself double four mm. to make it two sets all. And I clipped out 1-6-7 to go three sets to one up. And, you know, that little bit of cushion, I think, helped me get through that game. But um, I, I don't know, I've got so many good memories there, so many great memories. You know, we play at Ali Pali now, mm. but I've had some great memories as well from the Circus Tavern. You know, it used to be, the crowd was right on you and you could touch him, you know, and it used to be great. And so, I mean, fans don't really <coughs> get to see what happens behind the closed doors. They, they get the sort of, they get the live feed, they get the matches, and they get a few interviews and then a few promos. Mm. In terms of a match day, you, you know, what is a typical day for you at the Worlds on your match day? What, what do you do? Um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that say they don't get nervous, you know. I, I still get a little bit nervous. I get the butterflies in the tummy and whatever. Um, but I'll get up, I'll, get, I'll have myself a nice, nice hearty breakfast and whatever and um, try to stay calm and as to what's going to go on later on that night, you know. Mm. Shower myself, get myself dressed and ready. And... Um, I always drive to the venue because mm. um, it takes my mind off a bit because obviously I have to focus on me driving and whatever. And uh, like I say, the, the butterflies and the twisted stomach sort of thing, that will stay with me until I actually step foot in the door of Ali Pali. Mm. As soon as I step foot in the door, everything goes because I'm there. Mm. It can go wrong up on the dartboard, but at least I'm at the venue. I'm there. I can, I can start to relax now. Mm and then start to build myself up mentally, mm. you know, and so get on the dartboard, have a practice, practice some more, practice me doubles, practice me shot outs, and um, then you just wait for your name to be called. Colin, five minutes, Colin, two minutes, Colin, we're going. And, um, you know, that's when you really do switch on. You think, right, it's, it's business now. Mm. And you switch on and, you know, you wish your opponent the best of luck. And his gloves off and start scratching. Do the, uh do the preparations, do they um, do they differ from year to year? Do they differ from match to match or? No, same old, same, same old. old. Yeah, same old thing, yeah. And what about, I mean, the, the structure of it is, is is not like any other tournament, you know, it's over two weeks, there's a break obviously mm. over Christmas. Mm. Yeah, what do you do in your spare time? Do you, do you sort of walk away from the venue and, and switch off or is it constantly on your mind? Constantly on your mind. You, can, you can't ever switch off. You're, um, I haven't had a Christmas now since 99. I have, obviously, you know, same as everyone else, but in your back of your mind, oh, sitting right here is the niggling, you know, you know who you've got next and, you know, you're a little bit, oh, you know, and, you know, Christmas Day, if I'm still in it, Christmas Day, I'll have an hour up in my den, mm. pound on the dartboard, come back down, have a bit of dinner and whatever, carol open some presents and whatever. Then I'll probably loaf on the sofa a bit and then I'll go back up into the den and have another hour. You, you constantly... You're constantly thinking about it. You're constantly focused on on what's going on. You know, Christmas is great and it's a, a time for for greetings and good tidings and all that sort of thing. But mm. if you're still in the world, you're still focusing on 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 a dream that you've had mm. when you were younger, when you first started throwing darts. That um, you want to be the champion of the world. And what about um, when you step foot in the practice room? Is there a different <coughs> mood to any other any other tournament? Is it is it is there a little bit more pressure in there? Is there a bit no, not for not for me. I mean, I, I don't. I can't speak on behalf of all the players, but um, not so much for me. I'm just. I, I like to go in there and um, I practice, practice, practice. But I like to have a little bit of a little bit of a giggle and a joke as well. You know, I mean, and that's probably the nerves really. Just 
you know, it helps me relax and whatever. If if anybody ever turned around and say, Lloydy, you know, I'm I'm trying to focus here and whatever, then obviously I'll keep stum, but um, no one's ever said it yet. So. Yeah. And uh, what, what will you be doing now, sort of the build up, to obviously watching the draw on the 4th, I believe it is. Yeah. Um, in terms of preparation, does it? when does that start for the Worlds? It's already started. It's already started? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you start to get, as soon as six months pass, mm. you know, you, you start eyeing up for the Worlds, because that's, you know, that's the next big one. We have many majors in between, mm. but you know, the Worlds is only going to be around the corner, it's all of a sudden, bang, it's on you. Um, I mean, we've got Barnsley coming up. Um, we've still got the Players' Championship, another major Anymore, before yeah. the uh, before the Worlds. Um, but I think as soon as Barnsley, as soon as um, Minehead gets out of the way for the Players' Championships, um, that's when I'll really switch on. Because then, as soon as that's done, the draw's done on the fourth. Mm. You know, you can't leave yourself just ten days to prepare. No, no. You know that'd be that'd be silly. So you know, I've been I've been focusing and thinking about it now for a couple of months. So. Is it? I mean, is it nice to have that tournament, have the players' championship there to concentrate on that and and to sort of get plenty of practice in for that as well? Or would you rather sort of have a clean build up to the worlds where you know you relax and you're just doing your own practice? No, it doesn't bother me actually. I think it's um, I actually think it's quite a good thing because um, you're playing in a big event, so you're getting ready to go on the big stage that is at Ali Pali. Um, obviously, I missed out on the Grand Slam, so the last time I was on a big stage would have been in the October for the for the Grand Prix. Yeah. So um, no, I, I think it's a good thing, and, and you know, you'll stay mentally focused. You know, you've mentally got to be focused now, really, for the whole of December yeah. and a few days of January, because there's two majors up for grabs. Finally, then, <coughs> if you could if you could sort the World Championships in three words, what would they be? Christmas. Winning. Happy New Year. <laughs> Not quite three words, but it's good enough. Well, it's good enough. Three ty- three things. Three things. Three you know? things. Colin, fantastic to have you. Lovely. As always. Thank you very much.